Israel is turning hospitals into mass graves while the West fixates on anti-Semitism. A mass grave created by the IDF has been uncovered at a Gaza hospital where Palestinian civilians appear to have been the victims of a gruesome massacre. Ah, that's old news, you may be saying. We already knew about the massacre and mass graves which were discovered a few weeks ago at the Al-Shifa hospital in Gaza. Uh, no, no, that's a different mass grave from a different IDF massacre at a completely different Gaza hospital. The now completely destroyed Al-Shifa hospital was in Gaza City. I'm talking about the Nasser Medical Complex in Khan Yunis, where some 210 bodies have reportedly been discovered in a mass grave after Israeli forces withdrew from the city earlier this month. Two different massacres, two different hospitals, two different mass graves full of Palestinian civilians. The IDF are just attacking hospitals and mowing down civilians and trying to bury the evidence of their crimes. So naturally, we're seeing the Western political media class focus very hard on the problem of anti-Semitism allegations on college campuses. Biden denounces anti-Semitism on college campuses amid Columbia protests, reads a new headline from the Washington Post. As protests continue at Columbia, some Jewish students feel targeted, the New York Times urgently warns us. White House condemns blatantly anti-Semitic protests as agitators engulf Columbia University, blares Fox News. Columbia University faces full-blown crisis as rabbi calls for Jewish students to return home, says CNN. Columbia University, White House condemns anti-Semitism at college protests, the BBC reports. Getting far less attention than the fact that some Zionist University students are feeling uncomfortable feelings because other students say Palestinians are human beings is the fact that Israel is establishing a pattern of massacring civilians and burying them in mass graves outside hospitals in Gaza, or the fact that the IDF has been butchering children in Rafah, or the fact that the International Criminal Court is reportedly considering charging Benjamin Netanyahu and other Israeli officials for war crimes. Those matters are important, just not nearly as important as how some Western Jews feel emotionally upset about pro-Palestine protests. For that, the world must stop spinning on its axis until this extremely egregious problem has been addressed. All of the Western spin and distortion around Israel's mass atrocities in Gaza these last six months have revolved around centering feelings over human lives. How Western Jewish Zionists are feeling about pro-Palestine sentiment. How Joe Biden's feelings secretly feel about Netanyahu. How Israelis feel about October 7th. Wherever there's an opportunity to focus the narrative on what feelings are being felt by a politically convenient population, the Western press fall all over themselves to do so with tumescent enthusiasm. Wherever there's an opportunity to focus on Israeli atrocities, the Western press are nowhere to be found. If you belong to a group that isn't supported by the Western Empire, you can see your entire family murdered right in front of you, and the Western political media class still won't consider you a victim. If you belong to a group that the Empire regards as human, then even someone offending your feelings will be viewed as an unforgivable hate crime.